Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I'm going to be installing an IKEA blind into the camper van. The heat escapes through the windows. So what you've got to do is you've got to insulate them. And the first step that I'm going to do with insulating the windows is I'm going to install a blind. Later on down the road, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make insulation pads that you can stick on the window. They're quite easy to make and you can also stick them on the roof vent. So I will stick one on this roof vent here, the Max Air fan, and on the window. I'm hoping once the blinds installed, it will improve the insulation in the van, particularly at night time. So once you put on your diesel heater, that the heat in the van will stay in the van and it won't escape out through the window. So that's another thing to think of when you're converting a van is the number of windows in your van. Because obviously the more windows you have, the more areas the heat can escape out through the van. It also means in hot weather that the sun can beam through those windows and it'll heat up the van very fast. So less windows means it's more manageable, whereas more windows means it's more of a headache and you have to have more blinds, more insulation blankets and all that kind of crack. That's not the reason I went with the one window. I actually originally bought two windows, but the side sliding door window it came smashed in smithereens from the UK. So I wasn't able to use that window. So I was only left with one window and I decided to just install the one window. So enough of that waffle. Let's get into this and I will show you exactly what I plan to do and hopefully it'll work. And if it doesn't, we'll just change it along the way and make it work. The blind I'm using for this install is an IKEA blind and it's called Hopfels. And the size is 100 by 155 centimeters, which equates to 39 and a quarter by 61 inches. So it's 39 and a quarter in width and then it's 69 was 61 sorry yeah 61 it's 61 inches in length and it's quite a long blind actually but obviously my window isn't that long the width of the window is i think it's 43 and three quarters so i'm going to use these pvc strips and they're two inches by two inches let's open this up and then we can talk some more. This is the blind and that's what it looks like. So obviously this is gonna to be too short because it's 39 and a quarter inches. So the plan is to put one of these PVC fittings on either end, like so. The blind then will slide down behind the PVC on either side. So that's the plan. So I'll just show you the way these are supposed to work. So the way they're supposed to work is you have this clip on thing and you're supposed to screw it to the side of the wall like this, but you can also screw it from underneath. So I'm going to secure it underneath here. I've had to take out a piece of the molding here. So that means then that this can, this fitting can actually go flat up against the underside of there. See? So that's the way it's going to go like that. So if I, if I hadn't taken out that, there would have been a, a gap and it wouldn't have been level. The reason I'm bringing this out to the front is because if I was to go in behind that molding like so, that's hitting the window and it's too close to the window. I don't want it that close to the window. So I have one of these for either end and they clip on like this. So. Can you, if you can imagine that this will be secured to the underside of the window and then the way it clips on is this plastic part at the front is actually spring loaded so the front part clips in like that then when you push it it then clips onto the back one so you put in the front one first and then you clip on the back one so that's the way it's going to go and how you release it is you push this in with your finger and then you take pop it out i'm not going to do it now in case it flips back and smashes the window <laughs> so i don't want to do that 
So I've got one side done. That's gonna go in here. It's gonna secure in there with two screws. Now I'm gonna do this side and then we will secure these to the underside with some screws, clip on that and then fit those two PVC moldings. Now that those two clips are secured to the underside of the window, what I've got to do now is clip on the blind and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so, so let's clip on that blind and then crack on with putting on the PVC sides. The blind is now fitted to the underside of the window frame. Let's put it down and see what it looks like. There you can see it. On either end, there's a gap. So there and then there. The next step is to cut the PVC. You need to take the measurements from the underside of the window frame all the way to the bottom of the counter. So that measures 515. So what I'm going to do is cut this PVC strip. So let's cut this strip and then fit it in place. So we're almost there. We're almost finished with the install of the IKEA blind. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. If you are enjoying it, please do give it a like. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. That way you can be a part of the community here on YouTube and you can follow along with the van build and also follow along with the journey that's yet to come. So thanks a million for watching. Let's carry on and crack on with the rest of this vlog. I now have the PVC strips cut to size and I also have a notch notched out. I've had to cut a notch out because of the lip at the back of the countertop. I've cut two strips of wood and they're gonna go on either side of the window. That's because when I actually put these in place, there was maybe a few mil on either side, still of a gap. I need to put these strips of wood on either side. Then that will actually allow the blind to go behind the PVC strip and then there'll be no gap and you can't see the light from the outside. I'll just show you what I mean. You can see there on the side of the window, this is where the strip is going to go. So it's gonna go here on the side, like so, just in behind the molding. That will now give me a secure piece of wood that I can screw this PVC strip onto. So once it's installed, it's gonna look like this. But without this piece of wood, what I would have had to do was try and secure the strip into this molding on the edge. There would have then been a gap behind the PVC molding and it wouldn't have been as secure as it would with the strip of wood behind it. The next thing to do is to secure the PVC strip to the strip of pallet wood and then secure that to the side of the window frame. So I'm gonna do that on either side. So let's get cracking on that and see how we get on. two PVC strips installed on either side. There's a slight gap up here on the top. So I want to block off that. I want to stop any light from being seen on the outside. I'm going to use this strip. I'm gonna use this white seal strip and one side of it is sticky where I can stick it up here. And then the other side will come down just over that. I'm gonna use this, see what it looks like see if I'm happy with it. Let's stick this on and see what it looks like. I've just noticed this gap here at the end. It's okay on this side, there's no gap, but on this side, there's a gap. So that means that it's wider on the bottom than it is on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use this. Instead of just going across the top with it, I'm actually gonna go across the top and then down both sides here to cover that gap. I'll do that on the opposite side too. So I'm gonna wrap this the whole way around. The 
last thing I have to do is connect this clip onto the bottom of the blind. So that will allow you to stick your finger through the clip and pull down the blind. So I'm gonna stick this on and then I will give you a look at it. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bit of a gap here at the end. And that's because the clip that you use to pull down the blind, you stick your finger through and pull down the blind is resting on the countertop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another strip of this white tape along the bottom and I will cover that with the white strip. That will then mean that there's a white strip the whole way around the blind. And I think it'll actually look better once you have the strip the whole way around. I'm just gonna stick this on now and then we'll get this finished and done with. That's it, I now have the window blind installed and it's looking really well. This is a blackout blind I've used from Ikea so it should block all the light from the inside being seen on the outside. The blind will also act as an insulation because it's got gaps in the middle with pockets of air so that's going to prevent any heat loss or it's going to prevent any heat from the sun coming into the van if you're to pull down the blind on a hot day. If I was to do this again I would actually install the blind when I was building out the window frame. That would then allow me to use a larger blind and also to hide the blind under the window frame. But because I wasn't thinking ahead, I left the blind until the end and this is the way I've installed it. I'm happy with how it looks. If you were to plan ahead, I think you could do a far better job because you could actually incorporate the blind into the window frame when you're building the frame. I will leave a link below this video to the exact blind that I used. I'll also leave a link to the white strip that I used on the outside. If I have to at a later date, I can make insulation blinds like blankets that you actually stick to the window. For now, I'm very happy with how it looks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out, sleep a few nights in the van, see if this blind is any good. So that's it, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it gives you some ideas and tips on how to install a window blind in your camper van. So if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. That means you can follow along with the journey and if you want to be the first to be notified for future videos on this channel click the notification bell icon up there somewhere and then that will mean you'll be the very first to be notified for future videos when i release them on a weekly basis so again thanks so much for watching see you on the next one good luck